colleagues and friends welcome back to my channel Helen Snook if you are new here you're welcome please like share subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video so today I'm going to be running us through the step-by-step -step process on how to register on the CPD platform using our mobile phones so remember in my previous video I gave us the um, advantages of the CPD platform to Nigerian nurses so if you missed the video I'll be giving you even the link somewhere around for you to check it out let's jump right into the video <laughs> First of all, you on your browser you type www.wcea.education slash nmcn. This is the link up here, and then you click on go. So it will take you straight down to this page, and on this page it says register for CPD. So I'm going to be creating a dummy um, profile. For us to see how it goes. First of all, the thing they need here is your name. So my name is Helen. My last name is Harrison. Yeah. Then on the email, you click on your email address. And that generates. Then your mobile number. It won't. So you just, it's not my number, so you say it's an example. Then after that, it requests for your PIN number. So for the nurses, on your license, you have your PIN number. So you just click on, you just type your PIN number there. Then for midwives, some of us have PIN numbers. Some of us do not have PIN numbers. For those of us who do not have PIN numbers, just type 002 forward slash then there is a number on your notification on your notification that carries rom slash that is called your register your registration number so the um numbers after the rom is what you click here mine is this this is eight six this eight so it's an example then your registration number your registration number is the like i said earlier the, the the number on your notification so i'll be giving showing you an example of it and here i have my there is a notification your school gave to you from nursing and medical council so this part is the part you actually need the rom um, dot one one three this is mine this is mine sorry this is mine so i'll be i'll be going back to click on that it's, mine is rom so for those of us that are um, registered nurses it should be rom then for midwives it should be rom then that number it should be together no space so what you do here is they will not ask you for your area of practice if you're a midwife you click on the on the midwife you're a registered nurse you click on the registered nurse so for me i am a midwife i will be clicking on midwife slash midwifery then for the employer name i think this is optional but when i filled mine i um, entered the previous place I was working, the name of the previous place I was working, that's what I entered. For here, I'll be leaving it blank, so it's optional if you want to put it, um, enter the name of the place you're working or not, it's, it's optional. So, after I have filled this page, I'll click continue, and then to take me to the next page. Here you click your date of birth, your date of birth, you can put that your gender if you're a male you click on male if you're a female click on female then your location if you are a registered nurse in nigeria and you're out of the country or you're working outside the country you can click um um out of country slash abroad if you're in the in a rural setting you click on rural if you're in a in an urban setting click on urban so location there urban employment status if you're a full-time employee, click on that. If you're a contractor, 
click on that than me for now i am not working so i'll be clicking on other so then when do you need to complete your cpd requirements by yeah i'll be putting my license expiry date which will be june 30th of 2020 so 30th of june 2020 so i think when your license will expire it's the date you should put there then you click on continue then it ask you your interest and specialties yeah you can click as many as you want if it's just one you want to click you can click on it but I, and i think that it is um all the courses will still be available on the cpd platform so i'll just click on triage and then something relating to um obstetrics and gynecology yeah so these two is what i'm clicking now then contact permission would love to send you exclusive offers and course information by email you click on yes please and then you accept their terms and condition then you click on submit once you click on submit it will take you straight down to google play and because i already have the app installed that's why it's showing me open so if you don't have the app installed you get to see download here you click on download and then the app will um, be downloaded and installed on your phone so when it is installed on your phone i'll show you how the icon looks like this is how the icon looks like to show um wca that's how it looks like wca and by this time you should have received a mail from not seeing midwifery council so they'll send you a mail wca sorry wca will send you a mail and this is what the mail looks like dear helen thank you for registering your application information will be validated with the council and associated records if it matches correctly you will be sent a username and password to the platform so this should take they they usually say within 24 hours but mine i got it um say within 12 hours i got my username and password so after this mail then they'll send you another mail and that will be directly from um nancy and midwifery council be from Nancy and Midwifery Council and this is what it this is what it looks like. If your records actually matches with the information you sent, then they will said they will um, send you this email which says, Dear Helen, this is this we are saying this on behalf of these greetings. Your account has been created. Then to be used to and this account will be used to update your CPD records with the NMCN. It's important that you are account is activated on receipt of this confirmation by doing the following steps download the mobile app so from here they will give you a link to download the mobile app from play store if you haven't downloaded but if you have downloaded the um mobile app all you need is just to take your username and password which is this your username and password this is it your username and password once you have that, you go straight back to WCA. Sorry, I could not show you the mobile app on how it works. It's a um, security measure that they put in place. You can't screen um, screenshot or screen record the mobile app. So when you get to the mobile app, the home page, what you do, you input your username and then your password. So it will, it will ask you to um, change your password then you can put a password that you can impute a password that um, you prefer so guys that's the end of this video if you have any concerns or any difficulty in registering just um, say it in the comment down below and i'll be at attending to it in my next video i'll be giving us a step-by-step -step guide on how to take your course and have your certificate ready and meanwhile i'll be using my laptop to show us how it looks like and what it looks like on the system. Thank you for watching. Great nurses, hands that care.